Hello everyone, my name is Asmo, and today I'm bringing you a vlog on how I fixed my blue screen of death using the Elgato Game Capture device. Now, this is a problem any Elgato Game Capture device will probably have uh, if you have it, so switching uh, devices probably won't help, but I will tell you how I fixed this. Most of you know that I stream, and that I stream on Twitch. I uh, had a quick stint on YouTube, but uh, currently I'm streaming Pokemon on Switch. The new Pokemon, new Scarlet and Violet. Uh, I'm playing that, and I wanted to fix it before I start streaming that. And I did. I fixed it. Um, the way that I fixed it was uh, I tried going to Elgato. I tried to ask them for help, and they said that my drivers were outdated, and I had to uh, update them. So, I updated all my drivers, I went to the NVIDIA GeForce thing and updated that, I went through Windows and updated that, and told the guy, well, I'm gonna check, see how, how it works, and then I checked it, and then for about three hours, uh, I was able to just play on my Switch while, uh, while streaming, to use the, the application that they had, the software, and have no problems whatsoever when it came to recording, uh, or streaming or whatever, but it was for about three hours And then I tried going for longer because you have to understand before this after about an hour hour and a half uh, My PC will blue screen You know blue screen and say I can't do this anymore and that was it uh, But after er updating everything it took about three hours for it to go blue screen and that wasn't fun. So uh, after that, I, will, uh, I decided, well, if, if Elgato can't help me because uh, they told me that my drivers were outdated again after I contacted them. Um, but after I, uh, after I decided that Elgato's not going to be able to help me, I decided to look around forums. There was nothing. Absolutely nothing. No one could help. Nowhere. I couldn't even find it on, a, on an OBS forum because they, they just said you have to go talk to Elgato, but the Elgato forum had nothing. So, then what? Well, I keep searching. <laughs> I looked at videos of people that had uh, problems with their, with their Elgato, see how they uh, solved it, and all kinds of difficult things. It was not something that I was looking for. And then I found one tiny little comment, one comment of someone on Reddit, and I can't find it anymore, but it was a comment of someone who said they rolled back the application's update. Wouldn't you know it that that worked? I was able to stream for about four and a half hours yesterday, probably closer to five hours because uh, I, I actually started earlier. I, I played Pokemon, I went through uh, through a whole lot of stuff. I played Pokemon just reg uh, regularly on the capture utility from, from Elgato for the whole day even. I, I had no problems, no black screens of death, uh, only game problems because my Switch can't handle the game. Every, everything was fantastic. What you basically have to do if you have the blue screen of death problem, if you have the BSOD problem when using your Elgato, go to Elgato, download the older software, the grandfathered in software. I'm currently using the 4K capture utility on update 1.6. It's the oldest update that I could find. It has no problems when you're recording or playing or doing anything. It has no problems at all. It's, there's just some features that they added in later updates that probably screwed around with what you're doing on your PC. So if you have this problem, again, go look at an older capture software from Elgato. If, you're not, if you don't want to use the 4K utility, uh, capture utility, you can also use the other one. Uh, I used the older one before. Um, also, I will say I ha only have this problem after I switched PCs, so it's probably a, a compatibility issue between Windows 11 and the Capture Utilities updates afterwards, the newer updates. Uh, there's probably some kind of issue happening when you're trying to connect between them. So make sure that if you are w using Windows 11, that you check if you have the problem, because if you don't have to roll back, don't roll back, it's not necessary. Uh, but if you do have the bl uh, blue screen of death problem, uh, go to Elgato. I will put a link in for uh, uh, some of the older utility application uh, software, so you can download those. Turn off, look for automatic updates, because otherwise you're just gonna get the update notification. 
and the first time you open the software don't update it whatever you do do not update it stay on the older version until elgato notices that yes it is a problem with their software and they are going to fix it do not update and even when you update make sure you have the older download still in your download file or wherever you keep your downloads for applications so that you can always roll back whenever you want um Hopefully this solves the problem for a lot of people out there because I know I was very frustrated. It took me almost a year to get to this point. Uh, a year of not being able to stream anything using my consoles because I have a PlayStation as well that I would like to stream with. But yeah, I hope this solves the problem for a lot of people. I hope, I hope it solves the problem a lot faster for a lot of people. And if it doesn't, I'm sorry, this is all I have for you. Um... For now, I'm going to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. Also, go over to my Twitch because I do still stream that Pokemon game. I'm going to be streaming it today, actually. After I update this, after I upload this, I'm going to be on at around 7 CEST. So that's European time, Amsterdam time. It's, uh, what time? EST, I think around midday, like 1 or 2 in the afternoon, I think. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, I will see all you lovely people in the next uh, video or in my uh, next live stream, which is uh, today. Bye bye.